Watch you guys got another video here for you on how not to buy a gaming PC. Now, if you're looking for a gaming PC or looking to get into gaming PCs, be very careful on what you're buying online because there's a lot of computers out there that are not fit for purpose and now using old parts from old systems. So let's just take a look at this advert on eBay. And this is a common practice on eBay where you'll get fast gaming PC, a computer bundle, Intel quad core i5, 16 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte of storage, Windows 10 with a two gigabyte GT 710. Now let me tell you that this gaming PC is not fit for purpose and basically it's 720p gaming at best and this will be at the lowest settings possible for that game which means you're not going to have a great gaming experience. So how can they get away with selling this online? Well they have disclosed all the information in the advert itself and it's for you to do your research and also read the small print to find out what you're actually buying for your money. You can see here it says our gaming PCs are made using brand new uh, computer components. So that is not too bad. But then underneath it directly it says excluding the motherboard, RAM and CPU which is basically the whole of the computer really which is shocking. And all they've done is just rip the guts out of an old system and put it into a brand new case which has RGB on it. And it's not a great case um, as well. It's just a cheap case which they've used to put all the parts into. Now they could have picked these bits up um, on the internet uh, pretty cheaply or they've just ripped them out of an old uh, system and put them in there. Now there's 976 sold here which is quite disturbing really. And if you want to get more information you have got the read more button which you can click on which will give you much more information. You can see here it's an i5 uh, second gen which means it's super old and also there's some other information here about the graphics card which is a GT 710 which is not that great to be honest. Now ultra fast gaming PC is definitely not what it is. It's a Core i5 2300 which is a super old CPU and basically you're using old parts from old systems. Now the graphics card is not much better, it's just a cheap graphics card they've put in here. This is just your general use uh, type graphics card, it's not a gaming graphics card. And you're going to be lucky uh, to get 10 and 15 and 12 frames out of this graphics card at 720p with the lowest settings possible for that game that you're playing. So you won't be able to put any settings on at all because it can't handle it. So this is a complete scam. And you don't want to touch it with a 10 foot barge pole. And as you can see here, the uh, CPU is no better. You can pick these up pretty cheap. Now they're not buying this stuff. They're basically using old uh, CPUs from old uh, Dells and HPs, which they've uh, torn apart and put into a new case. And that's all they're doing basically. So you're not really getting any sort of value for money. This is an old CPU which is uh, not going to be doing much good for you, uh, accompanied with that crappy GPU, which they've put in there as well. Now, this is another one that's online. You can take a look at this one. Intel G620 RGB gaming PC tower, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 1 terabyte of storage, with 2 gigabytes graphics bundle. Now, you may as well grab your money and open the window and let go and throw it out the window because that's what you're doing here. You're throwing your money away on an old system that they've either picked pieces up on eBay dirt cheap or they've uh, done a massive big rollout at some IT company and they've now got a bunch of old um, computer components which they are putting into a brand new case and selling it online. And you can see here the Intel G620 is not an expensive processor. You can pick these up dirt cheap for about about five or six pounds. And again, eight gigabytes of RAM is dirt cheap as well, uh, DDR3. And this is all coming from old systems. So you're not buying anything that's uh, got any longevity, any upgradability. It's just old and uh, it's been thrown out for a reason and they're just making it look like it's still worth buying in 2019. And of course they're not breaking any rules because they are actually telling you exactly what you're getting for your money. And the GT710 is definitely not a gaming 
uh, graphics card you notice they're not showing you inside the computer either because it's all old bits this is the CPU here it's actually three pounds and 49 pence to buy which is shockingly cheap and of course the reason why it's cheap is because it's no good and it can't do anything so you can see LGA 1155 uh, socket that will be on a motherboard they'll pick up a cheap motherboard and it'll probably be an old Dell or HP or maybe just one of the cheaper type of brand motherboards that you can buy second hand on eBay for a couple of pounds here's another one super fast all form gaming computer PC uh, Intel Core i3 4 gigabytes of RAM and 500 gigabyte hard drive and this is just taken out of an old system and put into a brand new case and yeah, the case might look a bit uh, funky and look cool, uh, but you still got old parts in there which aren't worth a penny. So it's not worth buying it. It's just um, not fit for purpose. And you can see here you're getting a brand new case, brand new graphics card, and brand new Wi-Fi. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's all you're going to get. And all the rest of the stuff is all second-hand and old. Uh, so you're buying someone else's old rubbish and putting it into a new case. That's not that difficult to do, uh, but it's just people's rubbish that they're getting rid of. So you can see here the uh, CPU is a Core i3 second gen. And of course you've got that 710 graphics card again, which they're probably buying job lot and getting them dirt cheap. And to be honest with you, it's not worth £189. And to be honest, uh, it's basically going to make them a massive markup. So they've probably not paid anything for any of this stuff apart from the GPU in the case, which they can get dirt cheap, and they're probably making 100% profit. So i3 second gen processor in here, so it's not that great. Uh, it's super old, and uh, you're not really going to get any benefit from this system. So in my personal opinion, uh, stay well clear of these sort of builds. They're not great, and uh, it's just people trying to make a few quid on the side. And look for the benchmarks for this graphics card. They're shockingly low frames per second. 720p, all low settings, and you'll be lucky to get uh, 13 frames per second for Far Cry. Shadow of Mordor, 27. Not that great, to be honest, and that's all the settings turned right down. Now, this one is not too bad, considering it's got a 1050 Ti, uh, but the price has now bumped right up to £388. And the reason for that is because it's got a 1050 Ti and they have to buy that card, which is probably going to end up being, you know, a £150 to £180 graphics card. You can see you've got i5, one terabyte hard drive and GTX 1050 Ti, uh, also Windows 10, which doesn't really mean much really, to be honest, because you can pick those up dirt cheap. But as you can see, this is uh, our gaming PC are made using brand new components, excluding the motherboard and CPU. So basically, you're buying the graphics card anyway, and they're just putting it in the case for you. But you're buying that old same system, and they're just sticking in a brand new graphics card. And you're paying for an old system with a brand new graphics card, and that's about it. So you're not getting any sort of bang for buck there, really. Uh, the 1050 Ti does play games a lot better. It's an entry-level graphics card for uh, PC gamers. It will get 60 frames per second if you turn down certain settings, uh, but the uh, specs here are very vague. As you can see, they're not listing many of the specs. You can see high i5-2500, which isn't too bad, 8 gigabytes of memory, and this will play games a lot better because it has the 1050 Ti does have a massive one terabyte hard drive <laughs> and also we have a, the PSU inside here as well now the way I look at it is this is for 388 pounds for a, an old 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 system with a brand new 1050 Ti in it but you're paying for it so you're going to end up paying nearly 400 pounds uh, for an old system which just got a brand new uh, case and a brand new um, graphics card there and the motherboards they could use are something like this which are common on um, on eBay and you can get these seller refurbished you can even get them cheaper than this and they'll just stick uh, if they're not using Dell's or HP's or any of those they'll be using something that's cheap as chips uh, and uh, putting that into a case and, and that's basically all you're going to get really you're not going to get anything fancy 
and I'm pretty much sure they're not spending £36 on a motherboard that's for sure because it will be an old system from uh, probably one of the old systems that they've upgraded or something like that but they're the options available for these systems online so be very careful when you're looking for a gaming system and you ain't a PC builder but you want to buy something don't get fooled by all the fancy images with colour RGB uh, case lights and stuff like that they're very cheap and easy to do and uh, most of those cases are, are no more than 25 to 20 to 30 pounds around that sort of price point and uh, that's all they're doing so they're getting old stuff which is free sticking it into a case and then obviously uh, putting in uh, a 710 uh, graphics card and they're probably still making a hundred percent profit here so gaming PC bundle core i5 and this is 16 gigabytes of RAM with one terabyte of storage again you're getting that GT710 uh, which seems to be doing the rounds quite a bit on here and basically our gaming PC is using brand new computer components excluding the motherboard RAM screen and CPU which is basically the whole of the computer apart from the case and there you go there's the specs for this uh, machine as well and you can see here and now you can see the Core i5 first gen processor which is very old now obviously Fortnite will load up uh, but it won't play very well and that's not their problem they're just telling you that it will uh, play games and it will load up and that will be about it but what you're going to end up with is 289 pounds and 99 pence out of your pocket and uh, going to this guy making a load of money from you uh, with by selling all the old rubbish that he picks up from either rollouts that he's done for companies or picking up bits and pieces online for dirt cheap so don't get scammed by these guys and uh, spending all your money on things like this because it's not worth it you might as well just go and buy something like this if you are going to buy it which is what you're basically getting anyway you're basically getting a GT710 and you're getting an i3 8 gigabytes and there's probably i5 ones on there it's a Dell Optiplex and it's the same thing but all they're doing is ripping the innards out of it and sticking it into a fancy case and making you thinking like you're getting more for your money but you're paying 139 pounds here and those systems aren't even worth that much money so he's probably getting those systems for free and uh, sticking in a graphics card which costs around about 30 pounds and he's still making 100 pound profit so you can see there's a lot of money to be made here and there's 419 of these sold so be very careful when you're buying stuff like this because to be honest with you you're only going to end up throwing your money away you're going to end up with an old system that you don't know what to do with it and you can normally pick those up pretty cheap if you're very careful and have a look around anyway this is just a quick video just to show you how not to buy a gaming computer in 2019 or any other year just be very careful out there there's a lot of people out there that are trying to make a quick buck and trying to scam people out of their hard-earned cash and uh, you just have to be very careful when you're buying bits online okay anyway that's about it for this video my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk have a great weekend guys if you haven't seen the merch store yet which i created i'll leave the link in the top of the video comments and also in the video description and also if you want to pop on discord for a chat then by all means it's free to join on there and i shall be on there in the evenings for a chat with you guys if you've got any questions you want to ask anyway have a great weekend and i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.